A peg. Uh, what do you have there? This is a squash blossom. It's one that doesn't develop the fruit uh, of zucchini or a yellow squash. But you know what it is? It's great to eat as a squash blossom omelet. I'll it's, show you how it goes. Excuse me? It, uh, <laughs> this looks like uh, something to throw away. But you don't. You use it to eat. You're going to feed me grass for lunch? Do you remember our Weeds. neighbor? Yeah. Do you remember our neighbor, uh, Mrs. Bolioli? Oh, yeah. She was an old Italian lady, and she had an Ita the Italians. This is Italian squash, zucchini has. And she said this was, I don't know if it's just to stretch the eggs or if it's got new, special nutrients, whatever it is, the blossom has lots of stuff in it. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. And it's kind of fun. So I took these off some of these. These are some of our first squash, which are small right now. So we're in Oregon, so things uh, bloom a lot later. From this stage here, and I cut off the... I cut off the bottom so it has a hole in the middle. I take each one of these and I kind of wash them off even though there's no dirt on them. And I'll show you what I did over okay. here. Okay. What's going on over I'm, here? I'm dredging it first. That's, excuse the coffee maker. We're having a little coffee. I dredge them in flour and then I take a couple of eggs. I'm going to do four eggs just so I can show you from scratch here. And I do it in a shallow bowl, one that will be large enough to put a little bit of milk, not much, a little water sometimes breaks an egg apart a little better, but that little tiny bit of milk is, it's that we use non-fat milk. So once I get this going here, at the same time I'm going to show you, we're going to... Turn the heat on again? Uh, yeah, we're going to turn the heat on the, the stove because <clears throat> what I've mixed is some olive oil, you could use canola oil, and just for flavor, I can't help but put a tiny bit of butter. I put about a probably a teaspoon, about a teaspoon probably of butter. So just for flavor. Now I take this with the flour on it, dredge it in the egg, dredge it back in the flour, so it makes, so this will puff up nicely. Now you watch how this goes. Well, you know, maybe I better do a couple because you want to see how that's looking in the stove. See that, it's coming along, it's not quite there yet, so we'll, we'll do that. I'm going to get this in the flour, in the egg, the flour. Oh, it might be too much. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah, it better, I don't, you know, it'll cool down as soon as we put the food in it. It's, uh, how's that word? It's heating up. <laughs> up, yeah. We were talking about the, all the variations of the word up, all the meanings of the word up. You clean up, you call up, you heat up. You know, what does that mean? Up is a funny word, isn't it? It sure is. It's like now that a... probably could have been a little hotter, but you know, it's, no, not not higher. I'm sorry. I'm just putting it in. I'm kind of racing here a little bit. Okay. Well, that's. Uh... Now the other thing I'm doing is our young, tiny, skinny zucchini. I'm doing the same thing with that. I'm taking, putting it in flour, and then you go back and dredge it again. It's called dredging, where you coat it with flour. See that? Uh -huh. And then put it in here. And with the zucchini, I'm doing the same. I did a little flour. These will take a little bit longer to cook, but they're going to be good. So they all uh, wrapped with the egg, huh? A little bit of egg, yeah. yeah. It's just a nice way to... Now, are we stretching the plant or stretching the egg? <laughs> That's probably a good question. I don't know. It's uh, kind of a toss-up. Well, when we Are we trying to make uh, wild weeds uh, taste good? Is that the... Uh, yep, that's probably what How's this for cholesterol? And, uh, well, the weeds... The, the you said weeds. They're not really weeds. These, um, the flowers. weeds don't have much. The flowers don't have anything on there that would be You have a, l a little bit of flour in there. That'll... Uh, yeah, there's a little tiny bit of flour, but it's not... Oh, I guess they want... Uh, probably... Oh, that's Lily. Lily, okay. yeah. Lily, yeah. really, you want to say hello to everybody? Okay, Lily. Billy likes to, uh, you want to go outside? Okay. She gets nervous when we're cooking. Oh, that's right. Well, she, she came in the back door, which is still open, and could have gone right back out. Okay, now to show you what's happening, they're starting to puff up a little bit. I'm going to rinse my hands off. Okay. Well, it's uh, perking away. It may be too hot now, huh? Not necessarily if we move them along. Um, we fixed this for our little grandkids the other day, and they looked at us like we'd lost our mind, but... They went home and asked Sam, their dad, and um, he said, oh, yeah, he remembers doing that. Because we used to, whenever you have some squash plants, you think, oh, those big old flowers that aren't producing the uh, fruit or the vegetable, what do you do with them? So this is what you do with them. And I think it's just a, a way to be creative in your cooking and to have something a little interesting. Now, I'm 